Hello everyone, my name is Chris and welcome to my all unique loot guide in the Mothership Zeta expansion for Fallout 3. This guide will showcase and explain how to get each unique item within the expansion. As always, there are timestamps in the description if you wish to skip to a particular item, but without further ado, let's get on to the video. First up is the spacesuit. This is found on the corpse of Colonel Hartigan within the Engineering Corps. The spacesuit has a DR of 1 and is used as a story item to progress the DLC. Next is the winterized medic armor and helmet. There are three sets of this within the DLC, the first being on Elliot's Corium which you can get by either reverse pickpocketing or killing him. The other two can be acquired when going through the cryo lab with Elliot and getting him to revive his two squad mates. When they inevitably die, you can loot the armour from their corpses. The armour and hat have identical stats to that of a normal set of combat armour, however have a frosted texture with a medic symbol on the back. The armour also grants a bonus of 10 into medicine. Next is Paulson's Outfit and Hat. This is a unique set of armour which you can get by either reverse pickpocketing or killing Paulson. The outfit has a DR of 5 and the hat has a DR of 1. The outfit grants a bonus of 1 into charisma, 10 into small guns and 5 into speech. The hat also provides a bonus of 1 into perception. Next is Paulson's Revolver. This is a unique version of the scoped 44 Magnum and is the only Magnum in the game that doesn't have a scope on it. This weapon can be found on Paulson and can be only obtained by looting it from his corpse and cannot be reverse pickpocketed. The pistol fires a burst of 9 pellets per shot with each pellet having a chance to deal a critical hit. The revolver also has an increase in damage from 35 to 45. Next is Samurai Armour and Helmet. This is a unique set of armour which you can get by either reverse pickpocketing or killing Toshiro Kago. The armour has a DR of 30 and the helmet has a DR of 5. The armour also provides a bonus of 10 into melee weapons and also increases your melee damage output by 10. Next up is the Electro Suppressor. This is a unique version of a shock baton. This weapon can be found within the engine room next to the robotic assembly. Head inside and follow the corridors around until you come to a large room with some piping. Continue on the left hand path and you will find the weapon sitting on the table next to a drone. This weapon has an increase in damage from 20 to 25 however has the ability to knock targets down upon a critical hit. Next is the MPLX Nova Surge. This is a unique version of a plasma pistol. This weapon can be found within the cargo hold next to the hangar. Head inside until you come to a conveyor belt, follow the belt around until you find a working terminal on the table. Hack the terminal and open the remote safe. Follow the belt around until you come to a large pile of trash and one of the piles will be a safe if you unlocked with the pistol inside. The weapon has a massive increase in damage and crit damage from 25 to 80. The weapon also has an increased hit multiplier from 2 to 3. However the weapon comes at a cost of taking up 2 cells per shot instead of the standard one. Next up is General Chase's overcoat. This is a unique version of Colonel Autumn's uniform and can be found within the maintenance level next to the hangar. Continue through the level until you come to a room with a catwalk in the U shape. On the right hand side in a footlocker will be the armour piece. The coat has a DR of 20 and provides a bonus of 1 into charisma, 10 into small guns and 5 into speech. Next is the samurai sword. This is its own unique weapon and can also be found in the maintenance level. Continue through the area right to the end when Sally talks to you after rescuing her from an alien. Behind her will be a small medicine closet and on the shelf in front of you will be the sword. The sword deals 25 points of damage and has a crit damage of 40. The sword also has a crit multiplier of 2. Next is the cryo grenades and mines. This is its own unique weapon and can be given to you by Elliot Corian only if he accompanies you through the cryo labs. After destroying the generators there, he can provide you with the grenades and mines every 3 hours. The grenades only deal 1 point of damage, however any enemy caught in its blast radius will be frozen solid and will topple over for 3 seconds before getting back up. Next up is the drone control device. This is its own unique item and can be found within the robotic assembly. Head through the area and through the overloaded assembly belt until you come to a room with several caged drones. In the centre will be an alien holding the device. Kill him and loot his corpse to loot the remote. This remote allows you to open and make drones friendly who will fight for you against other drones and aliens. Next up is the Atomic Pulverizer. This is a unique version of the Atomic Atomizer and can be found within the weapons lab. Head through the area until you come to a corridor with a locked door and a terminal to your right. Inside the room with a drone will be the weapon on the shelf to your right, next to another atomizer. The weapon only has a slight increase in damage from 35 to 37, however has a much lower AP cost allowing you to fire much more shots in VATS. Next up is the Drone Cannon XB. This is a unique version of a drone cannon and can be found within the weapons lab. Head through the lab until you come to a large room with a captive recording in the centre. On the right hand side will be a shielded room with two drones holding the weapons. Kill them and loot them to grab the weapon. The XB cannon has the exact same stats as the regular drone cannon, however it fires an energy ball and an arc which can also ricochet off of objects. The weapon is also essentially useless in VATS. Next up is the destabilizer. This is a unique version of an alien disintegrator and can be found at the end of the weapons lab. Upon reaching the end of the weapons lab, through a door will be a shooting range with a teleporter and on a shelf will be the weapon. 
This weapon has a decrease in its damage from 65 to 30, as well as a crit damage decrease from 50 to 20. The weapon also has a slightly higher weapon spread from 1 to 1.5. The weapon however is now fully automatic and if used on the firing range and you kill 10 enemies it will grant you the Xenotech Expert perk. This perk will grant you a 20% increase in the damage that you do with alien weapons. Next up is the Captain's Sidearm. This is a unique version of an alien blaster and can be found on the bridge. Upon entering the bridge it will be held by the alien captain and upon killing him you can loot it from his corpse. This weapon has a decrease in damage from 100 to 35 as well as a crit damage decrease from 100 to 40. The weapon however uses the more common alien power modules instead of the power cells and fires a spread of 6 bolts at the cost of 3 modules per shot. The final item is the infamous alien blaster. This is its own unique weapon and can be found at the crash site you went to at the start of the DLC near the body of an alien. You cannot get this weapon legit until you finish the DLC, however if you wish to get this weapon early then you can stand near the site and ask Dogmeat to find you a weapon since companions will not trigger the start of the DLC, thus allowing you to gain the weapon straight away. This weapon has a damage and crit damage of 100, the weapon also has a 100% guarantee of dealing a critical hit every time, however the ammo it uses is very limited. And there we have all unique items within the Mothership's Ata DLC, I hope you found this video helpful and as always thank you for watching.